Welcome back to Seduce Me with Jackie Nisbell, and um, we just finished up with the flashback of our, our poor, dearly departed grandpa, and now Buttercup is sad again, so... You will be the very home I love to see you in. Why? Why would you think I would be ready to take it, especially after this? Because there are five boys there waiting for you. Oh, he doesn't know about them. There are five boys there waiting he for you. know about them. Oh. A surge of anger bubbled within me. But I quickly swallowed it. There was no use in getting mad, especially when the person in question was no longer there. It's one of the stages of, you know, grief. I'm sorry. It's hard to stay calm when you've left me with so many questions, especially about what happened between you and Dad. Ha! Huh. What am I doing? Talking to a grave. It's a common way of coping. My vision blurred, and I suddenly realized that I was crying again. My face heated up as tears rolled down my cheeks. I'll bring you some flowers later. I, I miss you, Grandpa. I'll try my best to fulfill my promise I gave to you, even if the world might be turned against me. I left the grave, wiping my tears his, his hastily so my parents wouldn't see. I don't think there's anything wrong with crying. Yeah. Dude, like, cry all you want at a funeral. Well, That's it's time to what they're back for. Home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? Thanks, Mom. But I mean, there is the stages Thanks, of grief. Mom. Or there's, like, the ladder of grief. I don't know. The stages of grief? No, it's like a ladder of grief, like, a pyramid of grief or something. So, there's, so, like, when someone dies, right? Mm -hmm. There's, like, a pyra there's like a pyramid of grief. There's I've the most read. important people at the top. Oh, okay. And I think it's a ladder, actually. Or something like that. And there's, like, the most important people at the top. Like, if, like, a spouse dies, then the person at the top would be, like, the the, the other spouse and yeah. the children. And then, like, it's, like, extended family and then, like, friends and then, like, yada, yada, yada. And you can only be as, like, hysterical or as upset or sad as the people... It's either, well, you can only be as hysterical as the people on top of you, but you can't be more sad than the people on top of you. I've never heard that before. Interesting. <clears throat> anyway. Thanks, Mom. So maybe there's this type, that type of situation going on. Maybe. Or maybe it's just because our dad's a dick. However, my dad didn't speak the entire drive home. I wanted to talk to him, but after his mo this his moment at the funeral, I, his outburst at the funeral, I wasn't sure if that was a good idea. Probably not. I'd probably never talk to your dad again. Until he calls you when he's 90 and he's like, uh, I'm sorry I was such a dick to you, daughter. Um, but I'm dying now. What? Superstation. That's what they're listening to. 96.11. <laughs> they don't go to it's two a decimals. Took off those dreary black clothes. Mm, don't tell me what to wear. Pops. Look at our sweet ass home. Look at how nice it is. Yeah. Gathering my courage, I decided then that it was time to talk. Dad, can I ask you something? Go ahead. No, dear. Why do you want me to move into this gate so soon? I You're annoying I as fuck. Clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? No, I'm gonna be an art major, Dad. Uh, right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a perfect fit for you. Mm. But it's so sudden. You just decided so quickly right after the funeral. You're lucky uh, I didn't kick so your sensitive. ass out when you turned if you're 18. Like that in the real world, you'll be crushed. I'm just saying that maybe you could talk a bit more about my future. Well, you're 18. You don't need to talk to him about your future. In reply, my father my father rubbed his temples and, and sighed quietly. But 18 would be the time to talk about your future. I mean, I guess. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. 
I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? It's like my dick dad. But, what if... Stop mumbling. <clears throat> Did I mumble, motherfucker? But what if I don't want to work there? <laughs> don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. Fuck you, dad. He came closer to me and his face softened. Still fuck you, dad. Look, this is all for the best, okay? <clears throat> you may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. Mm. He's, he's, he's very abusive. Yelling at her and then basically apologizing, so... It's not the best Abusive. relationship. Abusive. It's your turn to read. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, when I heard him say that, something snapped It snapped in me. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but it made me feel so angry. Yeah, yell at him. Do you even care that Grandfather passed away? Of course I do. No, you fucking don't, Daddy. You suck. Well, everything seems fine and dandy to you. <laughs> Things couldn't be better. Yeah, that's because his murder plan worked. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young I don't lady. like your fucking face, Dad. <laughs> it's like nothing even happened at all. Like, you just ignored the fact that he's no longer here. Do not raise your voice at me. <laughs> I am much your father! Fuck Hear me roar to me. Ah! <laughs> I want to be a macho man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. What did he ever do to you to deserve this? My father. His face hardened, <laughs> crossed his arms, and he erupted an angry laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you sure place him upon a pedestal, like he's some kind of venerated god or something. Well, Mr. Isn't Anderson, it? he's treated your daughter a lot better than you have, so... Mm, yeah... Is that it? Are you happy seeing Grandfather dead? While everyone was grieving, were you holding yourself back from laughing in everyone's faces? Did you feel just a bit happier seeing him lie in the graveyard? <gasps> a flash of rage crossed my face, and he his whipped face. Yes. A flash of rage crossed his face, and he whipped the back of his mom, hand across mom, my Mom, if you don't come in here and name in the dad... See, I told you he was abusive! Can we, like, is there, like, can we just, like, change this from a visual novel for just a second and make it, like, a, can we just, like, or maybe just, like, <clears throat> can't have any more kids now, Dad. Uh, you know, kick to the, you know. Someone bitch slapped you with the back of their hand. <clears throat> you don't know anything. Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on. When you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut! Yo, fuck you, Dad. You didn't tell me anything. You did not know my father. You did not know what he was capable of. Mm, well, I know my father, and I know what he's capable of, and he's capable of being a giant douche. Run away, Buttercup. Is everything alright? What happened? No, Mom. He just slapped me. Nothing. I'm not hungry. I think I'll just go upstairs. Honey, wait! That's not what I would have said. I would have said, Dad just smacked me right across the face. And my mom would have been like, mm -mm, he did not, because if he did. I don't know, unless your father, like, owned guns, I would just attack him. It's like, fucking like, <laughs> a girl's it's, fight dirty. It's funny because my dad does own guns. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, she's got a cute bedroom. Yeah. I quickly turned and ran up the stairs to my room, slamming the door behind me. <laughs> my breath came in short pants, and for a while I just leaned against the door in my bedroom, eventually sliding down to sit against it. How did things become like this? Well, your father grew up, and he decided that he wanted to be a dick. My cheek still throbbed, and I... T tentatively stood up and looked at the mirror to see how it, to see how it looked. Take a picture and put it on the internet. Fucking ruin your dad. Hopefully it doesn't bruise. <sighs> what am I saying? 
Tears formed in the corner of my eyes as I blinked them back rapidly. I couldn't cry for the second time today. I had to be strong. No, than that. Buttercup, honey, your grandpa just died and your dad just literally slapped you. Like you can cry all you want. Yeah. It's not it's not weak to cry. Yeah. Like you need to deal with your emotions, otherwise you'll turn into your dad and no one wants to be him. Yeah. Are you alright? Your father told me nothing happened, but you know your father. Please let please tell me we tell her. I'm fine, I just lost my appetite. The lasagna's done though. And I don't want you skipping any meals. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about me, Mom. I'll come downstairs later to eat. You're not telling me the whole story. No, no I'm not. I wish I would, though. I just don't want to eat right now. Please, dear. Tell me what's going on. I wish you would tell me why you're being like this. Can we just please tell her? Well, I'll leave your food on the table if you want to eat why it don't, Our mom obviously loves us. Why don't we tell her? <laughs> I don't know. Finally, my mom left me alone. It was strange to think that she was only a few inches away from me, only separated by a single wooden door. I really didn't know what to do. I needed to do something, anything, to get my mind off of what just happened. Anything would be better than thinking any more about the pain still radiating from my cheek. I was going to move into my grandfather's house tomorrow. I should probably pack my stuff so I would be prepared for tomorrow. You're gonna need a lot of boxes. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good idea. I should start packing. I opened the chest, rummaging around for a while before I finally found two large bags. Pulling them out from... <laughs> pulling them out... Oh, fuck. Pulling them out into the... <laughs> pulling them out onto the floor of my room. I then began to empty my drawers and cabinets so that I could bring all my things with me. And okay, so just looking at the size of her like wardrobe and all the stuff, and assuming we can only see half of her bedroom, she's got a lot more than is going to fit in two large bags. Yeah. I didn't have much to bring other than just clothes and some toiletries. It was kind of bizarre that I didn't have any personal belongings. You don't want to bring any books? <laughs> what? I have a hard time believing that a teenage girl wouldn't have personal belongings. Like, you don't, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. Seems like she should at least have, like, a picture or I don't, just, like, something. I don't know. It wasn't like my luggage was completely devoid of them, but I certainly didn't have many things in my room that I would miss if I just suddenly left the house. Yeah, just suddenly leave and don't ever talk to your fucking father again. I shook my head to rid myself of those thoughts. If it if it were going to be my new home, it would have to feel like it. One way or another, I was going to make it a home. Yeah, just, you know, remember your grandpa. Oh my god. <laughs> Aw, that's my jam. <laughs> that was actually really good. I it was that. pretty, yeah. Just, uh, just as I was packing my things, my cell phone began to began ringing and vibrating in my pocket. I slid my phone out of my pocket and answered it while slowly easing myself onto my bed. Who could possibly be calling? I don't know, maybe your two best friends who you haven't called yet? Mm-hmm. Hey, Anderson, you there? No. Is everything all right? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Everyone calls you Anderson yeah. because of the voice acting. Yes. They could have just left the space blank, like, like really any game where, you know, you you get to name your character. It's like, oh they yeah, that, I really, yeah. I'm glad to see you. And then you know it's like blank, whatever. Hello. I'm really glad you guys called. My voice managed to come out, though it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? Well... I slowly began to tell them about the funeral that afternoon. A small silence followed when I was done recounting what happened, and to my relief, Naomi finally spoke up. 
I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? No, it's okay. My dad isn't in a good mood, so could we just keep talking on the phone like this? Why don't you go out? We stay on the phone until the crack of dawn. Right, Suzu? Aww. Aww. Yeah. We're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? <laughs> yeah. Triple threat trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. Heck yeah. <laughs> Kick ass girl gang, gang beat up gang. Gang beat up people's abusive fathers. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. Oh no, that's na that name's not gonna People are not going to take you seriously. What's with you in oh, naming yeah. things? Triple Threat Trio? It's not a name you take seriously. <sighs> You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. Tsk, tsk. Hey! I'm a cool kid! <laughs> if anything, I say you have to step up your All game! All of you are nerds! We chatted cheerfully about all sorts of things. <laughs> Very soon I had forgotten about the events that day and was engaged in a conversation about Naomi's favorite TV show. <laughs> some program called Herlock. <laughs> Naomi's a, a, a Sherlock fan. <laughs> she is. We all agreed that the actor playing the t t t titular, t t t titular, t titular... <laughs> Titular <laughs> character certainly <laughs> had a very distinctive look about him. <laughs> With that long overcoat and scarf wrap wrapped Bene around his neck. It's Benedict Cucumber Patch. No. <laughs> we had many disagreements about who we thought was the coolest character. No, stop. Uh, yeah, he has really high cheekbones. <laughs> and his eyes are pretty. Though I do have to say I preferred Jackson. Ja Jackson. <laughs> and as a bonus, his character is just so sassy. And I think with that Sherlock reference, we should end the episode here. <laughs> and this has been another episode of Seduce Me, and we'll catch you next time.